You like so many people and you use caller ID to screen calls, maybe avoid telemarketers? Now, Ty Confraction's Keith Keen tells us how a growing number of rogue marketers have found a way to bypass that system. Keith. Mark and Krista, good evening. These days, most of us have caller ID, so we know who is calling in and we can decide if we want to pick up or not. Well, unfortunately, the callers have found a new way around caller ID. Robin Gilbert recently got a call and was surprised to see who was calling. I went to see the caller ID to see if I was going to answer or not, and lo and behold, it was me. The caller ID showed her name and her number. It's blurred for her protection. Turns out it was a robocall. Hello. This is a new scam known as caller ID spoofing. Unscrupulous telemarketers can now buy devices and apps like this one that will change the number that shows up. I'm curious as to where they got it. And how did they get it to show up on my home phone? The Better Business Bureau says the newest devices let the marketers display the exact number they are calling. Spoofing is legal. It's used legitimately by private eyes, lawyers, and people trying to catch a spouse cheating. But scammers are using these, even pretending to be the president at the White House, just to get you to answer. That's crazy. So if you can find out who is calling by receiving a phone number to call back, then... Report that number to the Do Not Call Complaint Hotline. The FTC will then investigate and prosecute. For Call for Action, I'm Keith King.